Prashana Bhima is a transformational coach who helps the clients to discover their full potential and unblock the path to living life to the fullest. She focuses on color as a means of healing. And Zaki went to find out more about synchronizing oneself with the vibrations of the universe. Our planet is filled with different hues and tones, and color is part and parcel of the natural world. Plants and creatures use color as a means of attraction and defense. And as human beings, we've developed our own psychological responses to particular wavelengths. Color has become a symbol of mood and feeling, and is also seen as a means of healing. People often ask me how I manage to be so happy and positive. One of the reasons is that I actively choose to surround myself with happy energy, and a lot of that has to do with my colorful surroundings. I want to find out more about this phenomenon, so today I'm meeting up with Prashana Bhima to find out more about how color can affect us. Prashana, what a beautiful day to meet you. Thank you, likewise. I've been wanting to know for such a long time, what is color therapy? Color resonates all around us. It resonates an innermost feeling. You find when we're feeling low, when we're feeling down, we want bright colors to pick up and brighten our emotions. It just depends on how we are feeling. When someone comes for a color therapy session, what does it involve? The first thing would be to relax, calm yourself down, because we've come from a stressful day and into a quiet space. So you would just breathe and relax and just close your eyes and the first color that emerges on the screen of your mind. So when you share the color with me, the color that you mentioned resonates from your subconscious mind. That color is telling me your state of mind, what's happening within you, your health status. With that diagnosis, I can guide you into improvement in your life. How do color and nature tie into each other? Nature is the unspoken word. It's the natural silence. You find when you have a love for quietness and a love for peace, you resonate with nature. You can actually feel the peace in nature. And that peaceful vibration enhances your natural peace. The lush green, the blue skies bring about a peaceful vibration and that resonates with our true being. So speaking about nature, would you like to take a walk? Prashana's own journey of discovery began in 1998 when, as she puts it, she developed a fascination in the congruency of health, spirituality and life. She was particularly drawn to the effect of color on the body and mind and its influence on a spiritual being having a human experience. Look at that view! Wow! Ah, oh, the sea breeze is always so magnificent. It absolutely is. Prashana, would you say that this is a calling? We all have an inner intuition. It's only upon reflection and a choice that we tap into this inner ability basically to benefit ourselves and benefit the next. What do some of the colors mean and what do they symbolize? The most commonly asked question is the color indigo. If you think of the body and the energy systems in the body, indigo is your third eye. It's about consolidation of your thinking, your thought processes, moving forward in life. It's the overactive mind that causes the stress in the body. So that vibration resonates with normally the mental imbalances. So your depression, the anxiety, there's a need for quiet space to redirect the thoughts. Just like you're wearing this beautiful pink. Pink is resonating on the vibration of love. Wanting to feel love, you have an abundant amount of love to offer. It's also about where am I at the moment? Do I really respect and love me for where I am at the moment? So that's your pink vibrations. Blue is to do with peace and tranquility, a need for relaxation. On a physical level, blue vibrates on your throat area. So your overactive, underactive thyroid is all the blue vibrations. 
How does exercise and diet tie into colour therapy? Because of the overactive mind, there are a certain number of people who will tell you, but I can't meditate, my mind just races, you know. That's when exercise comes in because when you exercise, you increase the blood circulation, your endorphins are released, so your happy hormones get activated. That actually releases stress and thereafter you can go into a more calming activity, which is meditation. If you look at your meal and if you think about what you had for lunch or what you had for breakfast, what was on that plate? Did I have my red, yellow, green on my plate? These are your happy colors. They enhance your health, makes you feel happy. So it's just a self-check to see what am I eating on a daily basis. Prashana, what is Aura Soma? The energy around the human body is called the aura and soma is the body. So it's an analysis of energy around the human body. Would you like me to do an aura reading for you? That is very generous of you, thank you. Absolutely beautiful, shall we? Sure, we could take a seat here. What do I need to do? So all you do is just relax, take three deep breaths and relax your body, relax your shoulders. Just bring your thoughts to the present moment. When you're ready, you can open your eyes. So your, your energy is resonating very much uh, one of a love for cats. <laughs> cats, yes, I love cats. That's very beautiful because there is a part of you that has an uh, abundant amount of love. You just have so much to offer. So it's time to take the next step, actually. What is the, the thoughts and the plans? There's some huge shifts on their way. Absolutely fantastic. You have a beautiful energy, full of life, full of spontaneity. Because you've got such an energy rush, it will be lovely to just ground yourself because you are doing 10 things, you are all over. And so it's just at this particular point in time, there needs to be some grounding, some stability. Does that make sense to you? Uh, is there anything you'd like to ask me? In this crazy world with all these thoughts and stimuli from every direction, how do we bring about positive change within ourselves? It's about really looking and seeing where am I holding most of my energy and the big one is about clearing out, letting go. The past is the past, focus on the present moment. Declutter your home, declutter your mind, declutter your phone actually and that will alleviate some of the excess thoughts that we have. When you let go of physical stuff, you actually let go of circumstances and situations in your mind, as simple as that. And then the other tool that's very profound is writing. Pin your thoughts and absolutely have fun. Prashana, thank you so much for lighting up my day in a vision of light and sharing your energy with me. It's been an absolute pleasure and thank you for having me. Color is there to fill our lives. We must simply open our eyes and our minds.